Dear students, are you facing any difficulty for clearing the subject basic electrical engineering? Do you think is it a difficult subject? No, absolutely it is not a difficult subject. It is purely easy subject only. I am here to help you out how to clear the subject basic electrical engineering. I found most of the students are facing difficulty. Now I am here to help you out. First of all, I would like to show you the syllabus of respective modules. Regarding module 1, you need to mainly focus on DC circuit and single phase circuit. In DC circuit, you will be learning about Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's laws, then KV, then current division formula, voltage division formula, series connection, parallel connection, maximum power transfer theorem, etc. In case of single phase circuit, you will be learning about how do you generate single phase AC voltage, sinusoidal voltage and frequency, RMS voltage, average voltage, peak factor, crest factor, etc. And also in module 2, few part of single phase circuit has been added. Analysis of RLC circuit, then real power, power factor, measurement of power, etc. And also the second part is mainly focusing on three phase circuit, how to generate three phase power, star and delta connection. Regarding module 3, it is basically two segments, one is DC machine, another one is transformer. In case of DC machine, there are two segments, one is DC generator, another one is DC motor. You will be learning about the fundamentals of DC generators and DC motors. In case of transformer, you will be studying the basic working principle, then EMF equation and the related topics. Regarding the fourth module, you will be learning about AC machine. The first segment comprises of three phase induction motor, the concept of rotating field, operation, slip, etc. and also the construction and working of three phase induction motor. Regarding three phase synchronous generator, it is also known as alternator. You will be learning about how does it work, how do you construct the three phase synchronous generator, but based on the construction, how do you divide? One is salient pole, another one is non salient pole type alternator. And also, one of the popular EMF equations will be familiar in this segment. Regarding module 5, it is basically comprises of four segments. The first segment is basically power transmission and distribution. You will be learning about the single line diagram of uh, power generation, transmission and distribution. In the second segment, you are going to learn about uh, different type of power rating of appliances in your house and uh, two part tariff. What is tariff? Objective of tariff? What do you mean by two part tariff? And uh, regarding the third segment, you are learning about importance of fuse and MCB. So, take care about the diagrams and uh, regarding the fourth part, you are going to learn about uh, what are the different precautions to be made to get rid of, to avoid the shock and what do you mean by R series. So, I request everyone to take the printout of that. It will be grateful if you take the printout and go through that. First of all, that you can able to make out, so that you will get a broad idea about the basic electrical engineering theory subject. Now I am here to explain the important tips regarding clearing of the subject basic electrical engineering. Uh, based on my experience, so I would, I would, I am strongly recommending you to study and answer fifth module first, because all the segments are purely theory based and uh, there are few block diagrams if you concentrate almost done so i am promising you that if you study and write the fifth module first and i am sure that you will be getting almost full marks and uh, i request everyone to attempt all the questions and don't leave not even single question whether you are knowing or not that doesn't matter try to attempt all the question and also putting the question number is also very important most of the students are not following the question number and a sub question number for example 1a 1b 2a 2b like this you have to follow sequentially try to write down the equations related to the questions wherever necessary so suppose the kcl or ohm's law you need to mention the equations suppose a topic a question has been repeated based on alternator. So, you do mention the uh, equations related to alternator. Draw the related diagrams as much as possible. In the sense, suppose a question asked based on RLC series circuit. Do mention the circuit diagram. Do draw the circuit diagram. And also, possible draw the phasor diagram. That gives more weightage for you. 
because question they want ask you to draw the circuit diagram or space space diagram but you are supposed to draw voluntarily you should know do underline the important technical terms wherever you are using technical term do underline and try to highlight the points so that it is very easy for the evaluator to give the marks otherwise your points will not be noticed by the examiner that's another fact once you complete the answering some half an hour maximum 20 minutes can be dedicated for reviewing your answer sometimes diagram may not be drawn properly you you could not able to mention some terms you could not able to mention the rating of the equipments do mention it correctly take 15 to 20 minutes for that make sure that you have spent 3 hours in the exam itself so these are the basic observation which i can give for basic electrical engineering subject it's not only for basic electrical but all the exams these are the basic tips in module 1 in my opinion don't leave the following topics ohms law is must anyway you are learning in pu classes pu or plus 2 classes kvl and kcl problem or theory can be expected maximum power transfer theorem if you are facing difficulty in derivation at least study the statement and the theory part properly and you need to know the definition of rms and you need to know the de uh, derivation of rms value average value also you should know if you know the rms value and average value you can calculate the form factor it is a ratio of rms value to the average value and the peak factor also can be computed maximum value to the rms value so don't leave this topic it is must regarding second module you need to learn about three important definitions of power factor and also power triangle basics like you need to know the real power reactive power apparent power if you study this it will be helpful for basic electrical engineering laboratory also and you need to know the fundamentals of rlc circuit and how to solve the numerical example if you do not know the numerical example at least study the and present the equations properly at least they may give some credit for you another unavoidable topic star and delta connection very very essential do please don't leave you need to uh, proof you need to give the proof of relation between line quantities and phase quantities of star and delta connection for that purpose phase diagram is mandatory simple circuit diagram is must and finally for example star connection line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage line current is equal to phase current that particular derivation by using the parallelogram law of effect addition you have to prove it very clearly at least you practice once or twice two watt meter method is also very essential if you study this the advantage is the particular topic will be asked for your basic electrical laboratory also so that is why i specially recommend for two watt meter method in this particular topic regarding module 3 you need to study the construction of a dc generator proof equation of dc generator is mandatory importance of back emf in dc motor they will ask the significance of back emf so with the help of diagram you have to explain torque equation that is must don't leave this and the emf equation of transformer you may expect some a problem numerical example and if possible if time permits study the condition of maximum efficiency of transformer at least do mention that copper loss will be equal to core loss and uh, that particular equation also you can mention at least and uh, regarding module 4 the following topics are most important the slip of three phase induction motor what is slip definition of slip and that particular equation if you know that you can easily solve the numerical example construction and working of three phase induction motor construction based on the construction you can divide curial uh, cage induction motor and the slippering induction motor please don't leave that regarding the ac generator you need to uh, compare salient pole type and non salient pole type alternator definitely this kind of questions can be expected and emf equation of alternator possible study the derivation okay worst case you can remember the equation regarding the module 5 there is no choice please do study complete module 5 study the single line diagram of power system uh, and a two part tariff basic equation of two part tariff and one numerical example also if you if time allows you can work out it's a circuit breaker with a neat diagram and the types of earthing definitely these questions can be expected a plate earthing and a pipe earthing what is the difference with the help of diagram you have to mention do mention the dimension also then residual current circuit breaker rccb so don't leave this topic and try to answer this particular part first i wish all the very best for everyone for the examination uh, crack it definitely you will be getting a uh, uh, certain a good